Well, hello, this is video number 68. This is called text in paper space. So up to now, all of our drawings have shown text in model space. And uh, the only text in paper space has been in the title block. But I want to expand our thinking about that. And we're going to discuss using text actually in paper space instead of using it in model space. Now, why would we not use it in model space? Well, here we are, we've got some text that we can read and it says uh, the room uses like reception and conference room. And we've also got uh, the key up in the top right hand corner, uh, which is fine. It's readable. But of course, you could also say it's not the same scale. OK, the size of the text uh, is varying. And of course, if you have different size viewports, your text will get bigger and smaller dependent upon the scale of the viewport. So perhaps to make your drawing look neat and tidy and consistent, you don't want to use your text inside model space. So let's have a look at turning that off. OK, I'm going to come over to my model space tab and I'm going to click on some text and you can see it's on text 6.0. So I'm going to open up this panel and I'm going to freeze it. There we go. <clears throat> We've got rid of uh, the text that we don't want to read. And uh, we're going to say here, this paper space title, we can delete that. We want text that is basically going to be the same size inside paper space for our titling and our headings. OK, so let's go over to paper space. Let's open up the layer dialog box, which is LA enter. And we're going to make a brand new layer just for paper space. OK, so here's our make new layer button. And it's going to be called text, T E X T space P S for paper space. And we're going to choose a color which is going to be suitable for printing out in paper space. OK, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose uh, my pen size. And so it's going to be color number three. And I'm going to say OK to that. And down at the side here, I want to make it the current layer that I'm going to be printing onto or typing onto. So I'm going to double click uh, down here to move this green tick. I've also got a button up here, which is also called current layer uh, that I could use set current layer. And you can see written up the top here, current layer text PS. Good. So we've got all that set up. I'm going to close down my layer dialog box. And check up here and it says I'm on current layer text paper space. OK, so now I'm going to start my single line text command and I'm going to type in DT. And I'm going to start some text to go into my paper space. So I've clicked here to justify my text. And then the command line says, could you specify the height? Now, this is going to be the real height that the text prints out at. So, for instance, around about five millimeters high would be good for this. And then it asks for the rotation, um, zero. And I'm going to give this particular drawing a title office layout. So that's office layout. And then I'm going to do a hyphen scale 1 to 30 at A1. Enter, enter. So let's have a little look at that. Office layout scale 1 to 30 at A1. So 
it's important for a drawing like this for us to be able to say what scale this particular drawing is uh, if printed at A1. And of course, this particular viewport has its own scale. So looking at the overall size of the text uh, in relationship to the drawing, I'd like to change the height from 5 uh, to 8, just to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm now going to copy this around. OK, so I'm going to pan a little bit further and I'm going to copy the office layout over to my staircase layout and edit the text. So I'm going to type in copy, pick up the office layout text, click for a base point and then I can move it here. Now you'll notice that I'm actually overlaying the viewport. And of course it doesn't matter in paper space if I place my text over the top of the viewport. And I can then select this and double click and change the contents of the text, which is going to say uh, two-way lighting detail. Two-way lighting detail hyphen scale 1 to 16 at A1. OK, so there we go. And escape, escape. Now, if I zoom away, you can see now that we're all ready to start transferring this text elsewhere. So I'm going to use my copy command and pick up the text from Office Layout. And I'm going to pop it up here. This is going to say key. And I'm going to select this text and key to symbols. Okay. So the drawing's looking quite consistent because of the size of the text. So I'm now going to use the same uh, idea for the room uses. So I'm going to do copy last. So that's CO, enter, L, enter, enter. I'm going to pick up the last thing we drew, which was key to symbols. And I'm going to pop that down here in my circulation area. I'm going to pop it down in my conference room. And I'm going to pop it down in reception. And I'm going to pop it down over here in my uh, circulation area as well. Good. So now if I zoom in, I can just double click and type reception. Uh, this one's conference room, isn't it? Uh, here's the reception. Here's my circulation. And we're going to do that over here as well. Okay, fantastic. So now when we look at our drawing, we can see that there's a lot of consistency on our text. And we've got that. We've achieved the consistency by making sure that our text is in paper space. OK, so have a little play with that idea. See what else you can do. See if there's something else that you want to add to the drawing. And uh, you can see that this then gives an overall feeling and impression to the way in which the drawing is styled uh, to make it look neat and tidy.